Here's how you can make this amazing colorful Aurora effect here in After Effects inspired from Sunduck Film. Click on new comp, I'm gonna go with 1080p, 9 seconds, click OK. And here we're gonna select the circle, so let's go and select the ellipse tool. I'm gonna go to the stroke, click on the stroke, click on the none, click OK. Press and hold shift, create a circle like this. And we're gonna create all the circles on the same shape layer. So for example, I'm gonna press and hold shift, create another one on it. And check this out, it is going to create two ellipses into the same shape layer. So I'm gonna press and hold shift again and do the same process until you're gonna fill up the whole page. Now I'm gonna recolor this. So I'm gonna select, for example, the second ellipse. I'm gonna go to the fill, click on it, and just select another color and do the same with the rest. From here, let's go to the effects and presets, type in a directional blur, drag and drop onto the shape layer, and we're gonna type in scale wipe, drag and drop under the directional blur, press Control D to duplicate the CC scale wipe, so we get it two times. Now we're gonna need to stretch these out, and I'm gonna work with the first scale wipe, and I'm gonna change the direction somewhere on the left, and I'm gonna go to the scale wipe two, and change it to the right, something like that. And now we're gonna bring out the stretch. Increase the stretch, it's gonna stretch it out. You also can modify the center. And then let's go to the second one, stretch it out. There you go. Now we're gonna increase the blur at the directional blur. And if you increase it, it is going to make it like that. I'm gonna go all the way up to 500. And here with the direction, you can rotate it basically. I think I gotta go like this. Now let's go to the shape layer, press the letter R for rotate, bring this back, activate the stopwatch. I'm gonna go somewhere at the eight and I'm gonna go type in here one. So it's gonna rotate it 360 degree angles and I'm gonna bring this keyframe all the way out. Now let's bring it back, hit play and there you go. And this is how I make this beautiful gradient effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.